Thursday, August 4th, if you want to know if I'm with Tamaris. My name is Rachel Hunt, and I'm an entertainment writer for Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Today, I have here Casey Johnson from HBO's F Boy Island season two. Um, and you may remember him from season one. He was trying to get CJ that season, but um, didn't didn't work out. So, so we're here oh. now. He's back. He's up against Tom trying to get Tamaris's heart and the finale is next week so all right what's up Casey so we're, how were you going into um into the finale like how did you think your odds were against Tom well um honestly I felt I felt pretty good I think you know I, I have nothing but love for Tom obviously he's competing you know for the same girl that I am um, but I'm excited I think I think the fans are you know HBO has put together you know the producers and Nikki um, I put together a really exciting show. I think it's it's really funny. Um, it's it's riveting and it keeps you interested. And so going into this this Thursday with the finale, I'm excited. I'm excited for the fans to get to see what goes down. And I will tell you, it gets it gets very juicy. And you know, Tamaris has a tough decision to make. So I'm excited for everyone to see. Honestly, <laughs> I love Nikki Glazer. She's hysterical. Like, I mean, how is she in real life? Nikki is one of the best people I've ever met. I mean, not only is she hilarious, but uh, you know, she just brings so much to the table. She's such a good person, such a good friend, and to have her on your side and have her there, she just makes everything better. I mean, she arguably makes the show. I mean, she's amazing. I agree. I, I just I love her. I like. I think she's, I think it's so much better than The Bachelor and The Bachelorette because of her. Like, she's just great. <laughs> oh, she's great. Great. She makes, you know, the show's meant to be self-aware. It's meant to be comedic. And she brings that side of it where you can almost, you know, you're, you're interested in the love plots, but you're also interested in the comedy aspect of it. All right. So how, um, how was it compared to the first season? All right. So you were going for CJ, right? Yes. And you made it to the final two in the first season, right? I so did. So how is this, how is it different? Like some fans are saying your connection was stronger with CJ than Tamaris. You know, I don't like to, and you know, in any sense of the word, anytime I'm pursuing a relationship, I don't like to compare. You know, I had my own thing with CJ and in between seasons you know I've had other other things because you know CJ didn't pick me so I was free to to do you know date whoever I wanted um and coming back for season two I wouldn't you know I don't want to compare the connections it's completely different they're their own you know Tamaris and CJ are their own independent women and they bring different things to the table and you know going into season two I had an open mind and was just open to you know to figure out whatever whatever happened, happened. So I put myself out there again. Um, but both were, you know, both are, are both amazing women in their own right. So did you know you were going for Tamaris right away out of the three for season two? I think, uh, you know, when I came in, I, I didn't know. I obviously had no idea who the girls were. Um, I didn't know if they were going to know who I was. I was hoping I had a little bit of a leg up, you know, coming back as a season, um, season one. But, you know, Tamaris immediately picked me and we immediately spoke and she just we instantly had a, a good conversation I was like you know let's just see let's just see where this where this goes um what about like how do you develop a relationship that quickly like how the show only films over you know less than less than two months right yeah I, I won't I won't say it's I, I won't you know won't lie it is it is hard especially when you're competing with you know 30 30 other guys or however many other guys it is and you know I came late and there were already you know Tom already had a connection um established with Tamara so you know, everyone does a great job of of giving you the opportunities, but it just comes down to me taking that risk and, and getting in there. And, you know, I always say, like, I, I'd rather I'd rather go in and, and shoot my shot and go for it. And if if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, that's the that's the whole thing around the, the point of FY Island is to to if you don't try, you're never going to know. True. True story. So um, there's a girl from your Instagram that everyone keeps asking about. Anything going on there? I think it was a photo posted before filming. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is this is before filming, and you know, like I said, after season one, you know, CJ didn't pick me, so I was free um, to date whoever whoever I wanted, and um, you know, Tamaris brought it up on the show, so I have no problem speaking about it. You know, this person, this girl. 
Um, I think her name was mentioned on the show, Katie, you know, she was a part of my life and I didn't want to erase that. Um, you know, so moving forward, you know, the finale is going to be really exciting. And I think people are going to want to see what happens involving Tamaris. And, you know, I'm not going to name names because who knows? It's that's that's the point is, you know, I went on this island and did I find love? You're gonna have to you're gonna have to tune in on Thursday to find out whether whether I did or not with Tamaris. <laughs> uh, and there's a cute TikTok. See, I'm I I did a deep dive of your social media, just yeah. like they did on TV. And um, I want to know about the sweet TikTok you said to some girl. Can you tease us? Tell us who it might be about. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, Rachel. I didn't name any names for a reason. I didn't name a girl, and. I did that for a reason. I, I think, you know, moving into the episode nine and 10, if you want to find out who I'm with, if you want to find out if I'm with Tamaris, you're just going to have to, to, to find out for yourself. And I, I was speaking about someone, but I didn't name any names for a reason. And if you want to find out if it's Tamaris or not, this Thursday, episode nine and 10. I can't wait to find out. I know. Okay. Before we go, will you tell us any fun, like, behind-the-scenes stories? Um, you know, that's a, the, I'll say this, is that, you know, we spend a majority of the time, you know, with, with the guys. And, you know, the friendships we developed with each other are, are lifelong. And we spend time, you know, on camera and off camera. We live together. Um, so I will say there's a lot of, you know, close friends that I still have. Um, you know, Benedict was one of my good friends. Jabrian was amazing. And, um, you know, getting to see it, it played back on TV and, and just remember the the great friendships you built and, and relationships is, is really cool. Well, I'm really excited. I can't wait to watch next week. Uh, thank you so much for meeting with me, Casey. And everyone has to tune in. So it's next Thursday, August 4th, right? Thursday, August 4th. If you want to know if I'm with Tamaris, you're going to have to tune in. Thursday, episode nine and 10. It's going to be really exciting. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Rachel.